Thank you, Mark. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and Toastmaster. Now, first I want to tell you the truth. I did steal this Power of Twelve from Toastmaster George Hickman. Now, how many of you know George? And I'm probably going to have to write George a letter <laughs> to apologize. But the truth is really that in Toastmasters, in this manual, in the back, you will find all the listed manuals. After you complete your first manual, there are 14 others. And there's this also two series in there, one called the Better Speaker Series, and the other one called the um, something series, yes. But it picked, yes. So anyway, when George did this presentation a couple of years ago, it just so happened that night that I was his evaluator. And he did this brilliant job. And for those who don't know George, George is in his 80s. And he really is a good speaker. He's been a member here for 25 or 30 years. So I said, wow, this is a program that needs to be presented over and over and over. Because every time we get new members and kind of like bringing the old members back into the fold, we need to tell this story. So tonight, I'm going to tell you the power of 12. And it is really simple. It starts with the letter T. Now, in this case, the letter T means training, which is exactly what we do here. We train each other. We evaluate each other. Each week, we learn how to speak. We train to become better speakers. It's real easy. Then the second letter, letter is O for organization. Can anybody tell how we organized here? We put it all together. It comes together late at the last minute, but it always works. Why? Because we're Toastmasters. And why? Because we're organized. That's our job. Start on time, end on time, do your speeches on time, follow that clock. Or you get in trouble with the general evaluator. Very important. Then, after organization, we have, very important, appreciation. Is there anybody in this room that doesn't like to be appreciated? If you don't, if you don't like being appreciated, please raise your hand. Nobody. This is amazing. So we're, in other words, we're all here for some type of adulation, appreciation. Am I correct? Everybody say yes. Yes. yes thank you. And then we have the spontaneity. Spontaneity could be of what was considered the first part of our program. Table topics, extemporaneous speaking, where I ask you the question, Gwen, what do you think of the price of apples? And you have to answer the question. And if you don't know how to answer that question, you can make up anything. That works at the club level. The only time that you have to answer the question is in a actual contest. Then everybody gets the same question, but you still have to be spontaneous. And then what do we have here? We had that one already. Yes, we're done with appreciation. Now, what do you think comes next? T. Whoops, wait a minute. T, there it is. Think. Think, what does that mean? Think. What happens if we don't think, ladies and gentlemen? What happens if each day you don't think? We end up where we are today, in trouble. So we better start thinking. That's what we have to do at Toastmasters. We think. It's important. And what do we have next? Aha. Very important. How many, how many in this room have had a mentor in their life? Everybody? Anybody's had a mentor in their life somewhere along the way? Raise your hand. We have most people. This is good. Some people haven't had mentors. We'd best do something about that. Well, so what is a mentor? A mentor is 
somebody that takes you under their wing, so to say, and they teach you the ropes. They teach you how to do it. Whether it's your teacher in school, whether it's your mother teaching you to, to read, doing your ABCs. It could be anything. It could be right here in Toastmasters. We have mentors. Everybody in this room, when they become a mentor, mentor, become a member, excuse me, should be signed, assigned a member, a mentor, a mentor, member. Yes, that rhymes. It's very important to have mentors in life. And then, this is really critical. To be a good Toastmaster, to really be good at anything, we must have awareness. And what is awareness? Awareness could be a lot of things. But to me, it's kind of what's, you knowing what's going on around you. It's kind of going when you're driving down the car, going down the road. If you're driving around the road, and your eyes are just focused on Jeff Thomas the whole time, and you don't see Rick Rhodes over here driving, and you don't see Mr. Woods over here driving, guess what? You don't have any awareness. So awareness is very important. And we must have awareness of Toastmasters. You want to be a good Toastmaster? Be aware. And guess what? As we move on through Toastmasters and we gain the awareness, we also gain skills. We become a better speaker. We become a better presenter, a better evaluator. We move up through these programs, and someday we become that DTM, maybe which is a Distinguished Toastmaster. And for those that don't know, Distinguished Toastmasters is the highest level that you can reach as a Toastmaster, which means you have completed all the programs, which is probably about, give or take, 80 speeches, being taking on different club jobs, officer jobs, area jobs, all these things have to be fulfilled. There's two levels that you have to follow to gain these skills, to get that skill to become the DTM. And believe it or not, out of the 12,500 or so Toastmasters there are in the world, there's not that many DTMs in relation to the amount of Toastmasters. So it is not easy to do. It takes a lot of work. Am I correct, Jeff? That's right. Am I correct, Emmett? And Bob, where's Bob? And Bob, also DTM. We have more DTMs, but they're not here tonight. And one of the very, very important things, and we do that at every meeting, and you will see it next, after the speakers are done, is the evaluation. Now, why do we want to be evaluated? Does anybody here ever get evaluated in their job? And what happens if you get a bad evaluation? You could get fired. You could be given the door. The pink slip, they call it. But I may just tell you, please don't come back. So, in, in a, But we don't do that in Toastmasters. If you get up here and give a really crappy speech, excuse the expression, your, your, your evaluator's not going to tell you that. They're going to help you. They're going to feed you all these fighter points of the things that you did well. Everybody has good points, and everybody has bad points. We call them places that they can improve. Not the good, the bad, and the ugly. We want the good, the better, the best. We want the sandwich effect that Bob teaches. And he can explain that better than I can. So evaluations are so very important here and on your job and in your life. You teach little children. You evaluate them every day, do you not? When your little boy goes running all around the supermarket, you kind of grab him by the hand or by the back of the sheet of the pants or whatever you do, and, uh, and you grab his hair. Maybe you give him a little smack on the butt, and you just sit him down and give him a little talking to, that's an evaluation. 
You're evaluating that child so he can improve his life. And we do exactly the same thing here with each and every speaker each and every week. Does it get any better than that? There's only a couple things left, folks. We're running out of time. Oh, gee whiz, time management. <laughs> Let me ask you a question now. So, so if you were asked, to, Delaney, to go and speak before a, a group, let's say the women's organization of Pinellas County, and they said to you, well, Delaney, we have, you have 10 minutes to speak. What does that mean? 10 minutes. That doesn't mean 12, does it? That's correct. Because that means that they may have scheduled another speaker. Well, guess what? They may have an agenda like we have, where we try to do everything within a set space of time. So within our two hours, we complete our program. That's time management. Is getting to work on time, time management? Is finishing a project at work, time management? Is finishing your studies and your exams on time unique? Is that time management? <coughs> yes. We're all involved in time management in some way. And if we don't have time management, I think we're in real trouble. And that may even be one of the most important parts of this whole program is managing your time, getting to meetings early so that you're prepared and everybody's not running around at the last minute. <clears throat> and now we have resources. And what are our resources? Our resources are these manuals, 15 manuals that we get from Toastmasters. This one's a competent communicator manual, which is the first 10 speeches. And also you get a competent leadership manual along with that. These are resources. And then after that, there's another 13 manuals that you can buy, or 15 more, I believe. You can buy 15 more manuals that cover every type of project. If you want to be a TV announcer or you want to do a technical presentation, any type of presentation are covered in these manuals. These are resources. But also the resources are the people around you, the people in your club, the people you meet at Toastmaster Leadership Training, the people you meet at other clubs, the people you meet at conferences. If you go to the conference coming up in Tampa, there'll be hundreds and hundreds, four or five hundred Toastmasters there from all over Florida. That's a resource. You'll meet all these people that someday down the road and you'll meet them again or they can become a resource. Maybe you'll become a pal by writing a letter or maybe it'll be an email. And when you go on Facebook or all these different places, you say, oh, well, gee, I know that person. And, and maybe you'll chat because you're going to chat about Toastmasters. This is a resource. We need resources in life. We do nothing alone in this life and succeed. Very few things. The last but least is what I'm doing right now. It's speaking. I'm making a presentation, and the green light, now the yellow light comes on, so which means I'm right on time. We talk about that time management part. What is that? Right there, time management, see? I'm speaking. This is my job to present to you a program that's valuable. That's my goal. That's my job. And that's one of the reasons why I'm a Toastmaster. So what is all this spell? Does anybody know? Toastmasters. Toastmasters.